Hi everyone, my name is Joyce and this is my first video blog. I want to start off by apologizing how choppy this video probably is. Um, for some reason I can't get iMovie onto my MacBook. Uh, it's saying something about updates and I've looked and I have done every update available um i don't know what else to do so if anyone can leave like a comment if they have gone through this problem with imovie um if they know anything i can do i'm not tech savvy so use small words please um so anyway uh i want to talk to you guys about this tv show i found on netflix it's from one of my favorite movies growing up. Um, I was into vampires. I love vampires when I was growing up. I thought they were the best. The zombies scared the shit out of me. But now I love zombies. The Walking Dead, totally awesome. But anyway, this is about um, From Dust Till Dawn. Uh, the movie starred George Clooney and Quentin Tarantino and they did an amazing job at the Gecko Brothers but for the TV show uh, obviously I haven't opened it because I it's on Netflix I, I don't want to open this and mess up the cover I'm famous for messing up the covers of DVDs like, like you have no idea I'm horrible when it comes to collectibles and stuff anyway um, the TV show stars, and I'm sorry if I chop up anyone's name here, um, DJ Katrona, uh, Zane Holtz, uh, I, Isa Gonzalez, and Wilmer um, Valderrama. Uh, everyone knows him from, you know, Handy Manny and that 70s show, and I think he was just in a new movie, um, The Girls in Trouble. Um, and DJ Patrona, he's from G.I. Joe Retaliation. I never even put two and two together until I actually looked him up and I was like, oh, yeah, okay. So, um, I just want to talk about how in-depth this movie can get uh, with backgrounds of all these characters. I was very surprised and I enjoyed the entire season of season one. Um, it's one of the best TV shows, like from movie to TV shows that I have seen. Um, I honestly was hesitant about watching this. I didn't want to give up like one of my days off to just watch this TV show and be like, wow, this sucks. Honestly, it's really good and I definitely um, recommend it for anyone that wants to watch it. I've even got two of my friends to watch it, and they, at first, like I, like me, they were hesitant. They were like, I don't want to watch this piece of crap. Um, but it's really good. They get in depth of the background of um, Seth and um, Richie Gecko. The Gecko brothers are kind of reminding me of um, the TV show, as you can see in the poster behind me. I am a Supernatural fan. Um, they remind me of like a darker Winchester brother uh, type thing going on um, and uh, I, re I really like that um, and uh, I hope with season two which apparently they're in production with season two right now I'm excited to see what else they can do with this um, TV show but um, and they also get into um, Carlos's character. If you remember in the movie, um, George Clooney's character, Seth, you know, spoke, just spoke of Carlos, you know, we'll stay at the strip club and we'll meet Carlos here and we'll get the money and go to El Rey. Which when I looked up El Rey, it's a fictional place and it also means the king. So I wonder if they did that on um, um, purpose. I guess maybe we'll see in season two if like El Rey actually exists in the fictional world and if it means something. Um, but uh, we get to see Carlos's character evolve. Um, he, what his character is all about. You think he's a good guy, but 
maybe he's a bad guy, but maybe he's playing both sides. And I kind of, I kind of like characters like that. And they're very entertaining to me. It's like you love them, you hate them. It's like really beautiful, supernatural. It's like, oh, you know what? She's helping Sam. No, she's not helping Sam. I hate this woman. What is she doing to Sam? Anyway, um, also because of this movie, I've added two uh, couples to my favorite couple, celebrity couple list. Um, DJ Katrona and, uh, again, sorry, Iza, Iza Gonzalez, uh, they're apparently dating, they're so cute together, um, and also Wilmer and Demi, I honestly didn't know that they were dating until I looked up, I, when I watch TV shows and movies, I look up the actors and I look at the backgrounds and I look at everything that they've done, maybe more movies I can watch. And I saw that he was dating her, and they've been dating for like three, four years now, and that is so cute. So they're now on my favorite celebrity couple list, which is another video idea um, we can talk about favorite celebrity couples. So put your favorite celebrity couple into the comment, and we can totally talk about oh what you put down and what my favorite celebrity couples are. Um, I have. Jared and Jen Penelaki, I think they are totally the ideal couple. Um, they are so cute together. You can see the love in their eyes, and their sons are totally adorable. So, um, also on my favorite celebrity couple is Bradley Cooper and Suki or Suki Waterhouse. I think it's Su Suki Waterhouse. I find them to be really cute. The age difference, age difference doesn't matter. They're totally perfect for each other and I'm hoping one day they get married and have cute little blonde blue eyed babies. They're just so cute. So um anyway, uh so yes, they're part of my celebrity couple. Um I like how they basically the T V show is the movie, but with more background, more depth into the characters. Um you can really start to relate to some of the characters as well. Um like you start feeling for Seth and Richie and uh, then the family that they kidnap, um, which has the guy, I can't think of his actual name right now, I want to say that he is the guy from the Terminator 2 Judgment Day, you know, the one where, you know, he's running and he's got his own, like, Jaws music going on in the background, it's like Terminator music, but it sounds like, it's Jaws theme music. He's got his own Jaws theme music, okay? Um, <laughs> and, uh, he's in it. He plays the pastor, ex-pastor or whatever you want to say, and they get into why the mother isn't with them, and you know what? You guys just have to watch it. It's really good. If you're like me and like backgrounds and in-depth characters where you can relate to them, you should definitely watch this. Um, I guess that's all I have to say. Uh, I will be putting, uh, will be watching another TV show or another or movie, and next week I will talk about um, that. And um, if you guys have any suggestions, I am open to any kind of movies, not just horror movies, um, dramas, romance. Um, I'll even watch Western. I love Dirty Harry, uh, even though that's not Western. It's totally not Western. Why the hell? hell did I say that? Anyway, um, I'll watch anything, um, and, uh, maybe we could talk more, um, about other things. I'll, part, I'll definitely be posting more videos up. Um, so hopefully this wasn't so bad for my first rookie video up on YouTube. Thank you again, guys, and um, hopefully you subscribe, and we could talk about more movies, and celebrity couples, and someone can help me with iMovie. Oh, thank you. Um, I also want to talk about, next time, these secret extensions that I bought, the Demi Lovato. They told me that I could straighten and curl these things, and I seem to be having a problem if anyone has these and has been able to curl these um, extensions and let me know your secret. I've tried everything. We'll get to that in another video. 
um, beauty video or whatever. Um, so thank you guys and um, I will see you next time. Thank you again.